Today on Ballistic Burgers, I'm going to be cooking up, by request, the Miller & Lux Burger from Tyler Florence's restaurant Miller & Lux in San Francisco. Well, let's get going. So this request comes from a subscriber of mine who also happens to be my wife. She saw this burger on uh, Instagram and immediately said you need to do this one. So I started looking into it. And yeah, it, it's uh, definitely a burger I want to do. It's elevated and yet not overly complicated. It's not over the top like stupid burger. So this one's for you, babe. We're going to kick this off with the bacon jam. I have my skillet here preheated and there's also some bacon fat in here because I kind of got the bacon going this morning. Left the fat in there for the sweet onions. Just coarsely chop these sweet onions. These are going to really, really break down by the time this jam is complete. Just gonna try to get that water cooked out. So right now I'm just trying to get these onions softened up. Again, these are sweet onions, so they're just going to get that really nice kind of caramely sweet flavor as they break down. And to help soften these up, I'm gonna add a little bit of water here. That'll also kind of deglaze this, this skillet because again, I did cook bacon in there. So just loosen up those little bits of goodness there. Or as you can see, these things have really become translucent. They're very soft, getting a nice color. I'm going to go ahead and add that bacon. This is four slices of bacon that I chopped up. And again, I cooked it earlier this morning. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of brown sugar here. And I'm more or less eyeballing these, uh, the amounts of the ingredients, but I will say that this recipe I found online and it's very simple, it's exactly what I wanted. And there's a little bit of a twist that you're gonna see here in a couple seconds. Put sugar melted in here. Add just a little bit more. I'm going to take a little bit of coffee that I brewed up this morning. Immediately, it's smelling really, really good. Now a little bit of balsamic vinegar. So this is going to add some acid, but also a different type of sweet. And a little shout out. This isn't sponsored. They don't know who I am. But every time I go visit my sister and my brother-in-law who live up in Northern California, we stop by this place. And it's High Hand Olive Oil Company. They're in Loomis. And they just have, I mean, you wouldn't think you'd get excited over an olive oil place, but amazing olive oils and also balsamic vinegars. I mean, they, just crazy amount of balsamic vinegars, different flavors. They have one that actually has a little bit of a chocolatey flavor to it. And it's really good like out of vanilla ice cream. So I'm just gonna again, keep stirring this, keep it cooking until it breaks down more into like that jam consistency. And there it is. So I'm gonna remove this from the heat now, let it cool. And we have an amazing burger topping here. Let's get on with the rest of this cook. Miller and Lux is using a dry aged blend of beef in their mints. So what I ground up this morning was a 35 year old ribeye, a little bit of short rib that wasn't dry aged and some dry aged brisket trimmings that I had saved from a video I did a way back, I had it frozen. So that's all ground into this beautiful patty. I went with nine ounces because this is probably 75, 25, you know, 25% fat. And I just wanted to kind of compensate a little bit. There's, you know, going to be probably a little shrinkage here. So again, nine ounces of this. It's a beautiful looking patty. And I'm going to keep it very simple. Season it with just a little kosher salt. That's all it needs. Got the flat top all preheated. Let's start cooking. So we're using a little 22 inch Blackstone today. 
medium heat, no heat on the other side, so only one of the burners is going. Let's get this beast of a patty on the griddle. And I formed this patty using one of my burger rings. Kosher salt. Now while this is sizzling away, we're going to go ahead and prepare some crispy shallots. They're basically shallots cooked like an onion ring. So I have some oil preheated about 325. I have some seasoned all-purpose flour, some panko breadcrumbs, and some milk. First thing I'm going to do. Now I will say in some of the photos of this burger, it looks like they may have used onions because they're big. Others definitely look like the shallots. And their menu says crispy shallots. That's what I'm going with. So we're going to dredge these first in this flour. To the milk. The oil. There you go. Let me give this a flip. Beautiful. Brioche buns, soft little toast. This is Mount Tam Triple Cream. It's basically a brie, but the milk solids have 75% milk fat in there instead of 35 like brie does. We put that on, top it with bacon jam. Looking good. We can dome this. Nice. Let's do this. Top of those crispy shallots. Some watercress. And a brioche bun. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and give this a slice here. Bun is nice and soft. Look at that. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Very, very juicy. That bacon jam is amazing. I really like the crisp crunch of those, little, the fried shallots. Mm. Shallots really stand out. That triple cream, first time I ever had it. I didn't even know what it was until I <laughs> started making this burger. But it is very buttery, very, very rich, and a lot more creamy than brie. Good stuff. I'll have a link down below. I, I actually bought the same brand that they're using, Cowboy Creamery or Cowgirl Creamery it is. I'll have a link down below if you're interested. It wasn't really what I'd call cheap, but it was good. Um, I'm sure regular brie would work fine. I think it's so important to toast a bun because not only does it give that nice caramely crunch from the toasting but the steam rising up really softens the rest of the bread of the bun and it just makes for a much nicer experience um, watercress I've never ever put watercress on a burger in fact I can probably count how many times I've had watercress <laughs> I've never bought it in my life I'm guessing I've probably had it at restaurants Remember an old I Love Lucy episode where she picked up some hitchhiker lady who was eating watercress sandwiches. But anyway, that's another story. Thank you for stopping by. If you're not subscribed, please hit that sub button. Thumb it up if you liked it. I will see you on the next video. 
Cheers.